C8 pay. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, we are going to go over my Can-Am Riker lights. We're going to talk about lighting it up. So let's go around the bike and check some of the lights out first and foremost. So as we see, we got this big bumper light in the front. Bumper light in front, y'all. Right here with the headlights, we kept it simple with the headlights, you know, for the most part still. We changed out those yellow headlights from the factory, changed those out, got the brighter lights. You see we got the lights right here on the hand guards. We got the lights here in that section on the A-arm. And as we can see, the lights on the A-arms blink. So in the front, this is what people see when I'm gonna make a right turn. As we go towards the back of the bike, we got the same lights on the back of the bike, and when it blinks, all that go so you see this part in there on the a arm that blinks in orange when i cut it off it changes from orange it goes back red so these are so many lights you see on the wheels the wheels are going in the inside of there we got the wheel lights wheel lights down here because of the bumper you can't see it but we got the night rider lights you can't see it sort of we got the Knight Rider lights in the uh, Trek LED light kit one. On the side, we got Trek LED light kit two. Down here, we got Trek LED light kit three. Yeah, we got those wheel lights. They popping. All of it's working together. Back here, we have these brake lights that are there as well. Those don't come stock. So those are there. So total, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say it's, uh, let me see. So the wheel lights are like 500. Um, LED, trach LED lights, one, two, and three. I don't know, what would you guys say? Like another 400 or whatever. Then the lights that go on the hand guards, Uh, then you got this big light in the front. This one, you got the headlights. Let's just right. Let's just say it's two thousand dollars worth of lights on the bike because each light is its own individual light, right? Then you know if you hit real bumps real hard, you do replace these things. So this is its own light that comes separate. This strip. Is its own light that comes separate. This is its own light you gotta buy separate. That is its own light you gotta buy separate. This is its own light you gotta buy separate. Every light that's on here is purchased separately. So, it does get expensive. It does add up, especially when you need to keep replacing the lights. Do I wanna put any other lights on the bike? I think people could clearly see me at nighttime. If they can't, they're just blind and their license should be taken from them. Um, maybe I was thinking about doing something with the headlights. They got those other ones that kind of look like my Corvette or Lamborghini like headlights in the front. So they got a change up there, but I actually like the way my head, these headlights look with the rest of the bike in my opinion, they fit it. So get in the comment section right now. Let me know if you have more lights on your bike than I do, and if you do, tell me, spell it out which lights that you have. Let me know which lights that you want to get on your bike, if it's something that you're looking forward to or you're trying to get. So there are lights that go in here. They go right in here. There are some lights for that. They go right here, and they, they like, they're like turn signal lights. I don't think I need those. I'm cool on those particular lights or whatever. Let me think. What other light would I be? I think that's the only light I'm missing. Oh, there's a hood light. 
there's a light that goes right in your hood, but I already got a bumper light. So why would I need a hood light? Um, what else? What else? What else can you guys think of? I know some people are doing it a little different and you see how I got my, I like underglow type lights, like lights you can hide. So I do know people, you see how my lights go from, they go that way. There's people that are putting the lights down here and making the lights go all around as a full circle, right? So they're adding more lights. I know some of you guys get your lights off Amazon and do different things. I like the Sling Mod Trake LED lights. I like using those a lot. That's what I've been using. That's what I like overall. But get in the comment section if you're using something different. I have seen that people are making, um, other manufacturers are making aftermarket lights for these, but you can't tell me this don't look good. Come on, man, this coming up the road. You be like, man, what the hell is this? My lights look good. I don't care what nobody's saying. Um, I have also seen where people are putting lights, uh, two strips back here on the back. So they're putting strips back there and lighting up that back fender. Again, I don't know if that's something that I need or I would want. I'm also seeing uh, there's that American flag. So like your plate, it's another extension that comes off here to the side and your license plate goes right here and there's an American flag right there in the back that's on sling mod, mod that people are adding and getting. Again, I didn't get that. I don't think I need that. Mm, what other lights? I've actually seen lights in people's seats. So I'm starting to see people like somehow, whatever the company is, they're adding lights to their seats. So I don't know if I need that. But what I can promise you is with lights, one of the lights is gonna be out all the time. There's gonna be something wrong with it when you hit bumps, you hit fender. So like if you look right here, this light right here is out. But it's only, so if you look on this side, the light is on on this side the lights off right but when i hit the blinker the light works so i have to take this fender off and i have to see if the light came loose or something like that i'm sure it's something simple and i have to put it back together but honestly that's what happens with these bikes overall uh just to let you know just in case people don't know in my opinion when your bike goes out your radio and your lights should go out so when you turn your bike off you get off your bike and you turn your bike off when your bike goes off, your radio and your light should also shut down and go off. With a lot of these um, bikes and some people that put the stuff on your bikes, they don't know how to set it up that way. So that's how it drains your battery. So anything that's still on when your bike is off, if you can hit the remote and it comes on, it's draining your battery and that's why sometimes your bike doesn't start. So make sure you work with people that know how to actually, when your bike turns off and you turn that bike off, Within a couple of seconds, the whole bike shut down. You should not have to hit a remote after the bike is off to turn your lights off. So that's a little tip right now from CA Pate. Begin in the comment section, let me know if you got more lights than me or what lights you do have or what lights you want or something that I did not mention today that you do like. I hate when people get those little lights where they put it on your um, the stem that uh, you use to inflate your tire. There's lights that go on there. I hate those lights. Those lights fly, fly off. Man. People got to see you, man. You got to either got a loud music, you need a loud exhaust, and you need some lights. Hey, people got to see you. People got to hear you. Get in the comment section and blow it up right now for me. C8 Pate. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video. C8 Pate out.